this old comb will be more attractive to swarms than what a mess So we got a failed split here that ended up getting wax moss in it. So look at this mess. What a mess. Now back in the day, I would take these frames and I would cut all the wax out and I would scrape the frames down, pop the cleat off the wedge top, and I would throw me a new piece of foundation in and start over but i don't do that anymore and i'm going to show you what i do now okay so here's our frame uh, you can use anything you can use a pizza cutter i've just got a putty knife here so that's what i'm going to use today so what i do with these frames after they're damaged and got all this trash off there i take them up this one's kind of already done it for me um, i keep all this wax i just take a five gallon bucket and i'll throw all the wax in a five gallon bucket and put it in my wax melter this summer but i'll take this frame now and i'm basically just going to cut off as much of the bad as i can so with this i can just mash it or i could just break it off i'm going to keep all this to the side to melt later but i just cut most of the wax off and i leave me a strip of wax or comb at the top now why do I do that? I do that because this is basically a starter strip for me. Um, I don't worry about the wax moss uh, reinfesting this hive or doing anything uh, as far as any more damage. And so I don't worry about the eggs or anything like that. There's, there's not really he a lot here for a wax moth left. Um, they're, not gonna, they're not gonna continue messing with this in my opinion. So. I just cut that off and leave that as a starter strip. Now, what do I do with the starter strips? Well, in the spring, when I start making splits, I will go around to my hives and I'll pull out a frame of brood or a frame of honey to make splits. And what I'll end up doing is I'll drop this frame in its place. So the bees will clean up this comb. They'll start drawing new comb on the bottom and within a week or two, you won't even be able to tell. They'll have this whole frame filled up with comb. So let's do another one. This is a little bit more full of a frame. So I'm just gonna cut it loose on the sides. That side. Cut loose on this side. Cut everything off this bottom. I'm just gonna try my best just to cut cut out what the wax moths have damaged. Now this frame has some wire in it. So I'm just gonna take me some wire cutters and just cut all of these little pieces of wire. And again, I will throw all of this wax in my wax melter. All of this trash will stay on, on top of the wax melter. I'll probably do a video of that later on this summer. Uh, the cocoons from this old brood comb will stay up there, but all this wax will melt and flow down into a pan. And so you see, I have a pretty nice starter strip there. The bees will, like I said, they'll jump on this, they'll clean it right up, and uh, They'll make good use of it, and I don't have to sit here and try to clean uh, all of this frame off and scrape all of this wax off, then pop this cleat. Popping these cleats out are a pain. They break, so I don't have to do all that. Saves me a lot of time. Now, I have a video on catching swarm traps, 
and I think I say it in the video, but I've, I've told a lot of people, I honestly think that old comb is a stronger attractant than any chemical attractant you can put in a hive uh, or a swarm trap. You can put uh, Swarm Commander, you can put lemongrass oil. All those things are great. I use them. Um, I use everything that I can. But if I had to choose between a box with Swarm Commander and empty frames, new empty frames with no bee scent on them, or if I had to choose between a box or a swarm trap that had just a frame of old comb in it with no lemongrass oil, no swarm commander, I would absolutely choose the box with the old comb over any swarm commander, lemongrass oil, anything that you can buy or conjure up to put in there. This old comb will be more attractive to the swarms than anything else that you can use. So if you can't seem to get yourself to use these old uh, rickety wax moth infested frames for you know your hives then you know consider using them for swarm traps and here's what the wax looks like after it melts so you get all this dark uh wax that's got cocoons and wires and stuff in it and then after it melts and drains down you end up with uh these they i had uh just old aluminum cake pie pans in my wax melter and i get these so uh, these cakes are exactly what I use whenever, if you go back and watch my video about uh, going foundationless and how I do starter strips, I basically start with cakes of wax like this. I put them in my turkey roasting pan, melt it down, and then use a paintbrush to brush it all on. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like, and uh, subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook, Browns Beef and Bees, links in the description below. And if you haven't checked out our video on how to protect your comb over winter from a wax moth damage or any time of the year, actually, uh, I'll put a link for of that video in the description below as well. Have a good one.